everybody, welcome back to another episode of Ghost of Mediocre Pokemon VGC 2019 Ultra Series, where, as per the use, we're going to be jumping on to Battle Spot and playing some Pokemon VGC 2019 Moon... Oh my gosh, you know it's late at night because I just said Moon Series. We're going to be playing some Ultra Series games. I don't know the last time I recorded. It's not, like, late, but I never record at night. Like, I never record at night. So we're going to see how this goes. I am just very busy the next couple of days, so I need to get my recording in when I can. And we are going to be facing off against Kyogre, Eveltal, and um, Omega Gengar. And I believe those three were on James Beek's winning team for Daytona Regionals. I can't remember if there was a Toga tomorrow. I honestly can't. And I think there was also an Incineroar. But this is... Interesting. I really hate Togedemaru. I really hate Togedemaru. This team is extremely threatening. This team is extremely threatening. I do like Tailwind. Oh, there's like just like nothing to stop Nuzzle, and that's so frustrating. I do like Tailwind. Even though Coco's so good, I just feel like I can't bring it because of Token Tomorrow. Token Tomorrow is just yuck. Um, at the same time as I just said, I think Tailwind's really important. Uh, I'm gonna go Crobat and Cinnaroar. Uh, with Ogre Ray in the back, I think. This could be a Serena game. Okay, we're gonna jump in with that. It could definitely be a Serena game. I probably should have brought Serena. He has probably Sucker Punch and Double Fake Out. So then maybe Incineroar's not the play? Yeah, this it was definitely a Serena game. Okay, Eveltal and Sin. It's okay, I think. Okay, so the good news is he can't fake out Crobat anyway. The good news is he can't fake out Crobat anyway. I'm not leading with much firepower. Okay, so I'm going to... Tailwind. And... Who would I U-turn into? Probably my Kyogre. I'll U-turn off the Incineroar, I think. Or I could get... I'll get Chip on Eveltal, I think, actually. Okay, you fake out my Incineroar, that's fine. So I assume we match Tailwinds here? Oh, my man going for Black Hole Eclipse? Yeah. So it's super interesting to me to see Z-Movie Veltals because, like, in Moon series, it was super popular for them to be uber bulky with Assault Vest. So this is kind of cool to see. And I don't have to cut out this animation! Yes! Okay, well, that'll just bring me down to Sash. So that's not worst-case scenario. I just kidding. It doesn't even. Um, who's getting super fanged here? I could taunt the Evil Toll. You think it has Tailwind? So I'm going to Super Fang Evil Toll, and I'm going to U-turn on the Incineroar. Okay, so I could have taunted there. Maybe I should have. Bring a Rayquaza. Oh, that doesn't even take me down. That's lovely. That is rather lovely. Okay, Togi comes in. I'm 
Well, I can't protect Rayquaza, which is unfortunate. Yeah, Togi's a huge problem. Yeah, so... Uh, how does this team beat Togemaru? So I get another Intimidate. And I get a Super Fang, so that's helpful. Okay, uh, doubling the Ray? Yeah. Okay, so you just take out Crobat. Here. Um, I'm gonna bring in Rayquaza. So I would assume your Incineroar comes in somewhere. I would think your Incineroar comes in somewhere. But I can fake out, right? Do you have anything to stop fake out? No. Um... I'm going to Dragon Ascent the Evil Tall. And do I fake out Togedemaru? I kind of feel like I have to, but I think you bring in Incineroar here. And then I'm kind of stuck for next turn, because I can't protect with Rayquaza. I'm going to go fake out, though. Okay, so, Inferno comes in there. Okay. Okay, so I still should get some damage off. Okay, I still should get some damage off. Okay, good. So... We'll be able to fake out. Wow, was that a crit? No. Holy heck. Holy heck. Okay, so Evil Toll comes back in. Um, I think Ray is how I win this game, so I have to protect it. I think I have to go into No, he just gets another tailwind up, right? I think he just gets another tailwind up. I'm going to tempt the Malicious Moonsault on Eveltal. I don't think it takes out, though. Because I don't want him getting another Tailwind up. That's what I can't afford, I don't think. But I, he gets it anyway. He gets it anyway, I think. Mmm. You're not a salt vest. Okay. Okay. You foul play into the ogre, right? Yeah. Okay. I do have to block this out. I do have to block this out. Um. Okay. So I am blocking that out. I'm trying to think if there's a way out for us this game. And it really doesn't feel like there is, to be honest. Yeah, that didn't do enough. Because they just get a free Tailwind up now. They just get a free Tailwind up. I'm going to Origin Pulse and Darkest Lariat the Togi, I think. 
But yeah, now they just get a free Tailwind. Oh. Oh, Steel is your last. Okay. Okay, you sucker. No Tailwind. I hit both. That's pretty big. That does a lot. That does a lot, a lot, a lot. Okay, and I get to Darkest Lariat. Okay, and your leftovers. Okay. Cinnamor still has a decent amount of health. I'm gonna Origin, and I'm going to Darkest Larry at the Toga tomorrow. Could be Wide Guard Steela, but we'll see. Oh, you're just going for nuzzles. Okay, so no fake out. I live. Heck. Heck. Come on, Kyogre. No! But that's fine. Because this should take out. Yeah, okay. So we- okay, wow. Wow. <sighs> wow. I need to think about that game. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Please don't be on my end. Oof, nice. Okay. So, because that was, like, a full game, I'm gonna keep that in here, even though it was a disconnect. Wow. I mean, I guess if my opponent did go for Tailwind, he didn't actually need the Tailwind. He didn't actually need the Tailwind. That's what it came down to. I think if my opponent brought Kyogre, I would have been in such, so much more of a rough place. Yeah, let's continue battling. Um, see, I guess I was playing thinking Kyogre was in the back and that he was going to Tailwind. Excuse me. I, okay, so I was thinking my opponent was going to Tailwind, get in Kyogre, and then just, like, water spout things to death and then be able to Ice Beam Rayquaza. The only thing is... No, yeah, I don't think that, Like, I think if my opponent goes for that, is there a way out for me? It really feels like there's not a way out. Um, yeah, it really feels like there's not a way out. Wow, yeah. Okay, good. so them having- also, that origin- maybe I'm, I'm- I mean, I haven't really played with Primal Kyogre, like, I've only played with, you know, regular Kyogre, uh, whether it be Scarf or Specs or what have you, but I think also the- just the pure damage, just the pure damage that Kyogre put out was crazy to me. Also- was that a no bulk Incineroar? Like, I don't- I didn't do calcs before using this team, and the fact that a minus one Rayquaza took down a, um, took down an Incineroar that had just a tiny bit of chip damage, that's crazy to me. Oh my gosh. The Braviary. Yo, this team is real. This is real. Scary. Um, hmm, way too scared to bring Incineroar right now, way too scared. This is honestly a super scary team. Um, I think I can go Crobat, Kyogre. I don't hate Coco, actually. And maybe Rayquaza? I think Serena could be nice for Fake Out, but he already's gonna have the, um, Psychic Terrain. Um, I do like Intimidate, but I feel like Incineroar is just gonna get bodied by everything that has fighting moves, which could be, like, the whole right side of his field plus Kangaskhan. So I think I- so I think I go- I guess I could go Crobat Coco too, to see if it's Choice Scarf Lele. I don't hate that. Yeah. 
I don't hate that. I, I kind of almost want to try this with a um, Assault Vest Coco that has, uh, what's that move? Um, Electroweb. I kind of want to try that. I kind of, kind of want to try that. But we'll see. Okay, so what does my opponent go with? Lele Solgaleo. Okay. This could be Trick Room. Not Scarf. Good to know. That is not Scarf. That is really good to know. I don't really want a Tailwind. I don't think. Um... Yeah, I'm, I'm scared of the Trick Room. I'm definitely scared of the Trick Room, so I'm gonna Scout. And I think I'm going to Super Fang the Lele and Ferium Z into it. Oh, I went for the dumbest speed tie. Oh my gosh. This is why we can't have nice things. Oh my gosh. Such a rookie mistake. Such a rookie mistake. Well, I'll get damage off at least. Oh my gosh. That does nothing. That does nothing. Okay, so bring me down to Sash. It's fine. And are we gonna see a Trick Room? Yeah, okay. Really happy. I could've also taunted. On second thought. I definitely could've taunted. Um... I'll super find the Solgaleo, and I think I'll tr I could protect. Wow, no, I think that this is like an auto loss. Wow. Yeah, I just bodied. I'm gonna, like, 100%. Wow, okay, so not a 4-0. Maybe. Is this a Salt Vest Lele? I really think this is a Salt Vest Lele. I really think this is a Salt Vest Lele. Oh my gosh. Wow. Wow. Super unprepared for this. Okay, so... Going for that move, turn one, was insanely stupid. I should have taunted- if I really thought Trick Room, I should have taunted the Solgaleo. And probably just attacked into Lele. Um, that's definitely what I should have done. Yeah. I, like, I, it just, I just made my moves way too quickly. That's always frustrating. That's super frustrating. Yeah, and it's wide guard, so what are you gonna do? Like, I, I, I would have Scald on this over, um, over Origin Pulse any day. Okay, so the good news here is, is there good news? If you're wide guarding, you're not attacking. I think that's all I have to hope, all I can hope for. I think that's all I can hope for. I'm gonna Origin Pulse again, and, um, What's your team? Is Crunch gonna be good? No. Um, I'm gonna Dragon Ascent, I think. Let's 
So Galio. Um, I could Ice Beam top of Lele. But I don't think that gets... Yeah, I'm gonna do this. Okay, so we're gonna Mega Evolve. We're gonna be 4-0'd right now. This is crazy. I was just wildly unprepared for this. Okay, that takes out, so. Assault Vest Tapu Lele. Okay, and they're gonna Z-move. Do I have to- is this copyrighted? This copyright? Is it just like- I think it might be, so. Searing Sunrise Smash. Okay, so he's taking Kyogre into a wormhole. They're now jumping through the wormhole. Kyogre's been let out of the wormhole. So Galio is like, no! And he's rolling into a tight little ball and attacking the Kyogre. That doesn't actually do that much. Let me undo that. Okay, not 4 owed. Not 4 owed. Okay, Blaziken comes in. Um, I think there's a trick room left. So obviously Blaziken protects here. I'm gonna origin. Wow. Okay, what did I need to do differently? I need to taunt the... I needed to taunt the Solgaleo. That was the call. That's always the call. Did... It, did Omega Blaziken just underspeed me? Okay. Well, I think I... Uh, that has been our two battles for today. Um, taunting would have been better if I actually thought it was Trick Room. But it felt like... If I taunted... Hmm. It felt like if I taunted and he doubled into the... If I taunted and he doubled into the, um, Crobat, then I had no more speed control. But his team was super slow, so I could, probably could have brought in Kyogre. Yeah. Yeah, taunting was definitely the better play, and we, like, literally lost to no taunt. Um, but definitely good game to my opponent, and I think I'm going to cut it here. So thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please feel free to leave a like, comment, or subscribe. Not exactly none of that. I do hope that everybody is having an above-average day.